Hey guys, Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another face-off review. Today we'll be taking a look at my very first Masterverse review. We'll be taking a look at the 40th Anniversary He-Man and the new Eternia He-Man. And, and we're going to see which one is better for your collection. I am very excited to review these two for you guys. I've been wanting to do this face-off for quite some time. I did get the new new Eternia He-Man at Walmart yesterday, and I did get the um, 40th anniversary from Target. So these are really cool looking figures, and I'm I know I don't show much different um, than DC Multiverse in my channel, some Marvel Legends here and there, but it's mainly McFarlane, and I wanted to show off some other lines in this channel, and I thought Masterverse was a cool looking line, so I really want to try it out. And I do like He-Man. I do like Masters of the Universe. So yeah, let's get to it and start the face off. Starting off with round one, we have packaging. Now taking a look at the 40th anniversary humans packaging. As you can see, it's the same shape as the as the regular Masterverse packaging, but the colors and the design are meant to reflect and, you know, look like the classic Masters of the Universe packaging. This is an actual vintage Skeletor figure. This is actually my dad, so this is so cool. I really like this packaging a lot. It looks great. Really cool looking Masterverse logo at the top. You know, it like looks like the Masters of the Universe, you know, vintage font. You have Masters of the Universe and, you know, that vintage style at the bottom. And you have that exploding rock thing in the background. I really like it. 40th anniversary sticker right here. And the most powerful man in the universe. And you have a barcode here. And, uh, oh, it's not at the top here. I thought it would be at the top. Nothing much more on the side, just more rocks on both sides. And you have awesome, really cool artwork on the back of He-Man. And then a little read-up right here. If you want to read that, pause it right now. I gotta say, these two packages are really cool. I do like the standard look for the, uh, for the Masterverse packaging. But I gotta say, I am a sucker for nostalgia. So this round goes to 40th Anniversary He-Man. Now moving on to round two, we have accessories and they do have some differences. They both come with a pair of gripping hands. They also both come with a left fist and a right open hand. Then they also come with their iconic power sword and battle axe. They also come with uh, the power sword and as you can see, this is the one that came with the 40th anniversary human. This is the one that came with the new Eternia He-Man. As you can see, the one that came with the new Eternia He-Man has more paint on it. It has that uh, more brown paint on the wraps. It kind of has this little sparkle into the sword, which looks really cool. And then this one is just a straight up casted in gray, which is which is fine. Because it kind that invokes the vintage style, and I really do like that. They both come with weapon storage for their power swords. And they then they come with the same battle axe. This one, again, has that more shiny or sparkly uh, silver to it, and this one's just a flat gray. That's where the similarities end, and to get with the differences, starting off with 40th anniversary, he comes with this shield, which is awesome. It just, you know, invokes that classic He-Man toy vibe. You can just slide it over the arm like so. I, I tend to use the open hand for this one, so the loop, the bigger loop goes through here. And then he holds on to it like so. Really nice. 
but the new Eternia comes with a little bit more. He then comes with this little dagger, which looks great. I do like the gold handle and the little silver blade. And he does have some weapon storage on the thigh. As you can see, it is sculpted to fit into the sheath, like so. It's kind of a tight fit, but you can get it in there like so, and it looks good. You can see the new Eternian He-Man comes with this Viking helmet. And I, I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of this. Look, it, I, I think it just looks dumb. It's not my favorite. It, but it does, and there were like some cl um, concept art back in the 80s where they wanted He-Man to wear a Viking helmet. But if you don't like the helmeted look, you can pop this out on this more traditional He-Man head without the helmet. And I gotta say, I love this a lot. This is, <laughs> I like this a lot. I'm very glad that we got an interchangeable head with this figure because... Yeah, I did not like that Viking helmet. It just looks so dumb, in my opinion. But this looks great. I do like it a lot. But there's one more thing I want to talk about, and it's not really an accessory. Untab the armor, which is pretty cool. And you can slide off the shoulder pads. The shoulder pads off, we get a more traditional-looking He-Man, which this is great. I just love how we can take off the armor. It's so much fun. I love the retro style that this 40th anniversary He-Man figure has with its retro weapons. It comes with everything you need for a He-Man figure. New Eternia He-Man just comes with a little bit more and that interchangeable head is just a great fun accessory. And also the shoulder pads, just removing them and keeping them on, you have more display options. And with that round, New Eternia takes the win. Moving on to our next round, we have Paint and Sculpt. Starting off with the 40th anniversary human, I just wanted to get one thing out of the way. Is when I opened this figure up, this arm just came so loose and it will not hold a pose. Keep it straight like this, it will hold a pose, but if I were to do, you know, the classic hold up, holding up the sword, it will not stay. And this really pisses me off because I really really do like the look at this figure and this this really bothers me i have to find a replacement for sure because this is really frustrating but you know looking at the other things about this figure other than its loose arm i do like the head sculpt it does have that more classic he-man look to it i really do like it it had that long 80s style hair i love it a lot it's very puffy i really do like it and looking down on the torso, we do have this harness. We have the iron cross with, you know, with these little red squares on it. I gotta say, it's cool. I do like it. And this is a newer upper torso. The uh, new Eternia He-Man does come with your basic, you know, Masterverse upper torso for the male figures. Really nice uh, shadowing on the, on the loincloth. It looks really good. It's a nice, like, little wash. With in the in the brown or the reddish brown of the loincloth fur, looking cool. You got the orange belt. Moving down to the boots, they are you know the same thing as the loincloth. It would have been nice if these were painted a different color, the little fluff. But again, I'm very glad that there's that wash. Looks really cool. Yeah, you know, close to the new Eternia. We we already took a look at the two heads, so let's just take a look at the harness. And I gotta say, I do like the logo. It's not like that Iron Cross or it's the or that He-Man H for the Revelations. I do really like this logo or the symbol. Looks cool. Again, these. Shoulder pads are removable, but they have some nice detailing on them. You get that same shape on the little front here. Some great, you know, sculpting. And I do like how you can have some fur over here in the inside. It's a detail that they didn't have to include, but it's really nice. And I do like how they painted it. And like I said, that the new Eternia Humans on that basic Masters of the Universe Masterverse buck. So it's not, you know, it's not much different. Then looking at the bracers, you have this bigger one on the side. I do like it. It looks nice. Then you got this one on the, the smaller one on this side. I think it's the same one as the 40th anniversary. Taking a closer look at the loincloth, you got the gold belt, which looks great. Which I think the gold on this figure could have used some more paint. It's just casted in that gold, but it's fine. And it, with the loincloth, it's not your traditional furry one. It's actually, it looks more like leather, which I do like the change up. It looks cool. And you get the the boots you know you got the fuzzies here painted really nicely and you got the brown wraps which have a have a you know a darker brown wash in it which is very nice and appreciated 
and you have that knife sheath on the side here. The 40th anniversary human has some really good paint on the loincloth and the boots, and the newer upper torso is greatly appreciated. I do like the classic feel that this figure gives off. The Eternia He-Man just really looks cool, and I really do like the added, you know, shoulder pads and the, the like, leather loincloth. It's really cool, and even though he does come on with the, you know, standard Masters verse, but, but he takes the round. So for paint and sculpt, New Eternia wins. Moving on to round four, we have, we have articulation. Their heads are on a dumbbell joint. And for the new Eternia He-Man, I'm going to use the Viking Helmet Head. Their heads can look up that much. They both can rotate. And both of them can't really tilt, really. It's not really there. On dumbbell joints, but looking at new Eternia first, he can crunch back. Not really much. He can crunch forward a little bit. He can rotate a little bit from up here. And he does get a lot of pivot. 8th anniversary, he can crunch forward a little bit. can crunch back more. can pivot and doesn't want to rotate. Both have a waist cut that rotates. They share the same arms, which can hinge up and down, rotate 360. Well, we know that with this guy. Both have double jointed elbows. They don't really want to work for some reason. As you can see, it gets stopped before the second bend, but you can see the 40th anniversary does get more bend wrist to rotate and hinge. The 40th anniversary does have a new left gripping hand which has a vertical hinge which really is nice you can do the classic holding up the sword pose but his arm does not want to stay up damn it they share the same legs which can split that's a really good split right there can kick forward and back have an upper thigh cut double jointed knees well, the boots are different they still have a boot rotation that move down up and have ankle pivot New Eternia He-Man does have a really good posability for its reuse of the body, but with that vertical hinge in the left hand and the more torso movement, I gotta say, there's a lot more articulation in this, this 40th anniversary He-Man than I expected. And also, yes, this does look weird because his arm doesn't want to stay up. So for this round, I'm giving it to 40th anniversary He-Man. Before we move on to the final round, I just want to do some quick size comparisons. Measuring these two out, the 40th anniversary comes to around seven and a half inches, and the new Eternia to the top of the horns, he comes to around seven and a half inches as well. Remember back in the day when Mattel did those Masters of the Universe versus DC Universe two packs? I remember I really wanted one when I was a when I was a kid, but I never found that He Man versus Superman two pack. But now I can relive that and have it with my McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. So here they are next to the Rebirth Superman and the Dark Knight Returns Superman. And I gotta say, they scale really well together, and I do really like that. And what is He-Man without his arch enemy Skeletor? Here we have the Masters of the Universe classic Skeletor, and as you can see, this doesn't really work out. Skeletor is pretty small, but we have one more Skeletor to look at. Yep, I'm gonna be opening my Masterverse Skeletor. Quick look at his accessories. He comes with the same sets of hands as He-Man, with this sword, which was a purple power sword, and he comes with a Havoc staff. This, this barbarian here, the classic inspired head. Also comes with this removable armor piece right here. It just slides over the top, looking cool. He's with the Masters of the Universe classic Skeletor. He is next to the vintage Skeletor. Here he is next to the green power suit Lex Luthor, just like those old Mattel two packs back the He-Mans and putting that alternate head on the new Eternia one, I gotta say, he, Skeletor does scale pretty good with these two. Moving on to the final round, we have Price. I found new Eternia He-Man at Walmart, and I got him for $21.99. I found my 40th anniversary He-Man at Target for the same price. With that, you may think this round will end in a draw. Uh, it definitely will not. This round will definitely go to new eternia he-man you get a lot more bang for your buck with this figure yes there are reused parts but you get a lot of accessories you get an interchangeable head you get the power sword the axe you get the dagger and then you get those four hands and you can even remove those shoulder pads which you know adds the fun factor with this figure and i really do enjoy it 
The 40th anniversary he is more for the nostalgia because it's more, you know, retro looking and it comes with the retro style packaging. But with this stupid arm, it really just bothers me. And I gotta say, this new new Eternia He Man just gives gives it more value. So this round goes to New Eternia. And with the final results, New Eternia He Man takes the takes the match three to two. So that is my face off review. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like down below and comment. And also, if you think 40th anniversary should have won, let me know because I was really ro rooting for this guy. Uh, I'm very disappointed in him, like especially with the stupid arm. I'm very disappointed in this uh, 40th anniversary He-Man. So I'm really hoping to find a replacement for this guy. He, he shouldn't be that hard to find, in my opinion. But this new Eternia He-Man is really cool. I do like him a lot. He has a lot of playability with him. You can remove the shoulder pads. You can change the head. You have the, it's, They come with the same weapons. I do really wish the, the new Eternia came with the shield. I should have mentioned that. But I can just use the one from the 40th anniversary. And that Skeletor is pretty cool too. I got him from Walmart as well. And this is a face-off that I've been wanting to do for a while. To introduce the Masterverse line into my channel. And I'm very glad I finally found the new Return of He-Man to do it. And if you guys enjoyed this video, again, please leave a like and comment down below and subscribe. Because I know you guys like the these face-off videos. Because, you know, you know, from the last face-off video I did, you guys really seem to enjoy it. But yeah, I did like these two figures. They do look really good next to some other figures i will be posing these guys up next to some supermen because i really wanted those two packs as a kid and i'm very happy to do it with my mcfarland figures and that will be my review so i hope you guys enjoyed this video because i enjoyed these figures and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya